you can never know everything in math. It's, it's just not possible. And one of the things that people often say is the more you know, the more you realize that you don't know anything. And you start to see this when you start taking more math classes in college usually. That's typically where most people see this, you know, and then they start forgetting the math they learned. Um, that's how it is. Math is very unforgiving. But another reason that you can see this is through math book collecting. And that's why I wanted to make this video because I have all these math books, but in some sense, Every time I get a math book, I look at it and I see things in there and some of those things make sense and some of those things I might not be so familiar with. And so the more books I get, the more things I'm unfamiliar with and the more I realize that I don't know anything. And it's, it's a very, very dark thing um, to experience. And again, you experience it in college too, but I guess I'm just relating this to math books because that's really where um, it comes about. So if you if you get a math book, because I talk about math books all the time, and I you know I say hey you should get this book, it's a great book. If if you go out and get one of those books that I recommend and you try to read it and you don't understand it, or there's parts you don't understand. Don't let it make you feel like you're dumb or something. It's normal. There are, there is so much knowledge in these books that I don't know. And again, every time you get a new book, it's like you discover, oh, look, here's more things I don't know. Or, oh, here's that thing again that I still don't know that I saw in three different books. And for some reason, I haven't decided to learn it. So yeah, they make you painfully aware of what you know and, and what you don't know. So just a random video. Anyways, keep doing mathematics.